Good evening, everyone. Keep on snacking on those sun-dried tomato chips. It's time for Cheese League Baseball. Playoff baseball action. Let me hop back into the game. And tonight we have... Make sure that everything is working. I had a couple of technical difficulties before we started up tonight, but no worries. Busy day here at Cheese League headquarters. But uh, we're all good now. And just getting things rolling here, folks. But thank you so much for joining us. Again, here at Cheese League Baseball. This is playoff baseball, of course. Tonight, we have the Steamrollers versus the Olympians. So we're uh, going from the motor yard, traveling over to the Olympians' home turf, the Tiger Den. This series is knotted up one and one. Um, last game, if you have not watched it, was an absolute fun game. <laughs> uh, game one, of course, was kind of a pitcher's duel. Uh, really the only uh, the deciding factor in that game was Marty Hull's solo home run. Olympians won one nothing. Uh, last game, it was quite interesting. The Steamrollers bats really, really came alive. Um, and, you know, Hoots Elliott came in in relief of, of uh, Damian Hale. Ariela Fuentes pitched pretty good. Um, but then the Rollers won on Kurt Johnston's two-run homer. Walk-off home run. They won 5-4. And that's where we land ourselves here tonight. So, as you can see, a little preview here. We have Bud Benetti on the mound for the Steamrollers. And Wilder Bobbert gets the ball tonight for the home team Olympians. A couple of notable players. Uh, of course, Chuck Rockett hitting 600 so far for the Steamrollers this series. Jericho Dozen Rolls doesn't have a hit yet, unfortunately, and Banjo Crane has been struggling too. So we'll have to see how they play out. On the Olympian side, things are a little bit better. Bernal, Hull, Booper, all hitting pretty well. So something to uh, keep an eye on as we go throughout this game. And we are going to get right into it. Go to the Tiger Den. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm excited for this game. It's going to be interesting to see maybe how the, the Olympians play on their home turf. We'll see. And like I said, those steamroller bats came alive last time. So we will see what happens. Here we got a look at the starting lineups. Actually, not too much movement in those lineups. It's been pretty steady. A dozen rolls, Crane and Proctor leading it off here for the Steamrollers in the top of the first. Jericho dozen rolls. I mentioned he's still looking for her, his first hit. And here's Wilder Bobber. That one's fouled down the line. Wilder Bobber, four seamer slider curve. Changeup also throws the fork ball. And that one is hit. Nice diving catch there by Liam Bowles. For out number one of the ball game. Here's Banjo Crane. Ball outside. Crane struggling right now at 167. Two and two. And lined right to Mullins. That brings up Annika Proctor, having herself a pretty good series. Batting 500 so far. One homer, two RBIs. Not too shabby. Bobbert, of course, a little bit more velocity pitcher than accuracy or junk. But he does throw a lot of off-speed stuff. And Proctor is walked. So... That brings up Chuck Rockette. And one and two on Rockette. And now the two and two. And full count. That'll send the runner. That one's hit quite well. Going. Going. Gone. Chuck Rockette. Two run homer, 411 foot shot, his first homer of the playoffs and second RBI. Now batting the left 
So the Steamrollers take the early 2-0 lead. It looks like we're having a little technical difficulties. It looks like the uh, Steamrollers uniforms aren't fully populating. It's quite odd. That's something we'll have to fix in between games this evening. 2-2 two two right now with Kurt Johnston. Popped up. Marty Hull's there with the third out, but the Steamrollers get two runs here. They lead it 2 nothing. go to the bottom of the first. And Gertie Booper's gonna lead it off here for the Olympians. We take a look at Bud Benetti, and Booper quickly pops that one up. High, high, high fly pop up. And Rockette puts that one away for the first out. Here's Ellie Mullins having an exceptional series. 429. A lot of hits there for Mullins over these past couple games. It's grounded to Madden. And there's out number two. And Bernal steps in. 429. One RBI so far this series. Big looping curveball. Benetti has the curve, change, slider, four seamer, two seamer. A lot of options. More of a junk velocity pitcher. And he's walked. So, Bernal on first. That brings up Marty Hull. Marty has a home run this series, and he goes. And good dig there by Chuck Rockett. They get him at second base. Six, seven, eight hitters due up now. Here's Shepard Pace for the Steamrollers. Let's take a look here at Wilder Bobbert real quick. And got him. Shepard Pace down, down looking. Here's Hudson Hopkins. Wilder Bobbert during the regular season was not the steadiest arm is that's a base hit up the middle for Hopkins. So a little one out base hit here. Xerox Madden steps in. For the rollers. Wilder Bobbert was 0-2 on the season. An 8.14 ERA and 12 strikeouts. 1-2 and two now Madden. And got him. A little high for my liking, but uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> Here's Kai Best. Grounded right back to Bobbert for the final out of the inning. And we got the heart of the order due up here for the, Olymp the Olympians. Let's see if they can string some hits together. As Marty Hull steps in. Remember, he was up. And Bernal was thrown out at second. High, high, high pitch. 97 on the gun there from Benetti. Oh boy, that big looping curve. Goes 97 on the fastball to 90 on the curve, or to 80 on the curve. That one's hit quite well. That's carrying. That's going to be, oh, off. Oh, no. Dozen Rolls catches it. I thought that was actually off the wall. I thought he played it off the wall, but... Instead, it's just a very long out. And here's Joy Trickster. Swings through that one. Fouled away. Shatter bat. Pop up. Kai Best is there. Puts it away. That's out number two. And here is Spencer Panada. Olympian's first baseman. Packed house here tonight at the Tiger Den. As that one's fouled away, you can see. Grounded, Rockette, Fields, fires. There's out number three. There's a good shot of the Tiger Den. Very, very packed house here. Despite all of the Olympians fans, all the home fans, you can tell there's some uh, chugga chugga choo choo blue shirts in the in the crowd for the steamrollers. And here's dozen rolls, top of the order. And the top of the third here for the steamrollers. Two and two to Booper. 
across the diamond. There's out number one. Banjo Crane steps in, hits that one. Right to Bernal with a little basket catch. Remember kids, if you're playing at home, the ball's above the waist, thumbs together, below the waist, pinkies together. So I catch the basket catch. One and one now to Proctor. Ball outside, two and one. Three and one, good hitters count. And she has walked, that was a pretty close pitch. Tough to lay it off, but here's Chuck Rockett. He had a homer his last time up. He is having an exceptional series so far, and they check on the runner, safe. Yeah, Proctor runs quite well over there at first. And that crosses up Hull. Runner gets the second. So two outs, runner in scoring position here for Chuck Rockett. Chance to do a little more damage. 2-1, and now the 2-2 two two pitch. Bobbert delivers, got him, tied him up high and inside. Good pitch selection there from Wilder Bobbert. Bottom part of the order due up now for the Olympians. T uh, bottom of the third, not the top of the third, the bottom part of the inning. Here's Bud Benetti. Check on him as Banjo Crane fires in. Here's Kellen Getrek getting the start today. In left field, his first at-bat of the playoffs. Of course, a utility player. Let's see if, leave that Shaw at first. Let's see if he runs. So Benetti, I was saying, was two and three in the season. Three point, and they check on the run. Two and three, 3.38 ERA with 20 strikeouts. And there's a strikeout right there. Getrek down on strikes. And Liam Bowles steps in. Oh, they catch him. And he's caught in a rundown. And Proctor tags him out. Oh, boy. That's a big, big mistake there for the Olympians. Home crowd did not like that. One and one on Bowles. And there's high 95. Boy, Benetti has a lot of movement. That's... Hit the pace. Benetti has a lot of movement on those pitches. He's really, really locked in tonight. Johnston leads it off now. Here in the top of the fourth. Five, six, and seven do up for the steamrollers. Walter Bobbert, 52 pitches. Looking pretty good. No real movement on his meters. That one's popped up and gets off the screen. The one-two pitch. Pass the diving, Bobbert. And there's out number one. And here's Shepard Pace. Go for one today. Thank you, everyone, again for tuning in to our Cheese League Baseball playoff. 0-2 oh and, and Pace frozen. Nice little bite on that breaking pitch. Here's Hudson Hopkins. Two no. To Hopkins. And there's a high ball three. And he's walked. So Hopkins on first. Xerox Madden steps in. 0 for 1 today. Uh, Rollers third baseman. And there's a base hit up the middle, right through the wickets. So two on, two outs. Kai Best steps in. He's 0 for 1 so far today. Rollers catcher. I'd say not really good speed on the bases here for the Rollers, but we'll see what happens. The 2-1 pitch popped up very, very high. Can of corn out there for Neil Shaw. There's out number three. So goose eggs all around here. Except for that top of the first. We go to the bottom part of this frame. 
And it's the top of the order. And here's Gertie Booper. She's 0 for 1. Got her. Booper. Down on strikes. I said, Benetti, 20 strikeouts this season. So, real good. One of these really, really good strikeout pitchers that the uh, Rollers rotation has. Um, they just have an exceptional rotation. It's Ellie Mullins. Looks at a strike. At the knees. And that's hit. That's going to be off the wall. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, Kurt Johnson there. I completely misjudged that. So instead of what I thought was going to be a little one-out double, now two outs, and Bernal steps up to the plate. And that one is hit back to Benetti. Oh, who's covering? Who's covering? And they get the third out. Ooh, man, that's as a, as a first baseman, you see that you know people got it taken care of. Your job's to co cover the bag. So that was almost a costly error there. But nonetheless, rollers get out of it. And dozen rolls pops up to Shaw. Takes that little drop step and fields. So one out. 0 for 2 is Banjo Crane. He needs to get hot during these playoffs. That's foul ball. And that one drops in for a base hit. So right on cue, Banjo Crane, one out base hit. Here's Annika Proctor. She walked twice so far today. And we're having a pitching change here, folks. Alberto Blaze comes in in relief of Bobbert. And we saw Blaze in game number one. Mullins with the diving stop to Booper, and that's all they're going to get. I actually thought that might have snuck into uh, right field. So two outs. Runner, very good speed there at first base. Chuck Rockett steps in. Switch hitting Chuck Rockett. And apparently we have <laughs> this issue. There we go. <laughs> it's one of my workarounds for when I was having uh, technical difficulties. That one is fouled away. Two and two on Rockette. And folks, you can't can't make up this stuff. It's it's live baseball. That one is gonna get off the scope. Oh no, it's not. Man, I'm I'm judging all of these balls quite poorly tonight. I thought for sure that was off the screen. <laughs> Anywho. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's the heart of the order up for the Olympians. Let's see if they can really get something going here. Marty Hull steps up to the plate. 0-2 oh on him quickly. And grounds right to Proctor for the first out. Here's Joy Trickster. 0 oh for 1 today. Boy, very high. That must have crossed up uh, best behind the plate. Fouled away. One and two. Benetti working, uh, being very economical out there. Strikes are out. He's at 52 pitches, so pretty darn economical. 53 pitches. As Panada steps up to the plate. Panada's looking tense in a rough series so far. Skies that one. That's going to get into the stands. Oh and two. And, oh, off of Proctor's glove. And Crane overshoots. And Panada goes to second. So little uh, Little League style baseball happening here for the Rollers. And that puts a run in scoring position for the Olympians. Here's Neil Shaw. And there's a foul ball. The one-two pitch. That's up. High and inside, two and two. Nope. And ooh, almost got him chasing. Full count. 
Oh, oh, right back to Bidet. Uh, huh. Oh no. Right back at Benetti. And that is not good. He is very hurt. Extreme pain. Brash Nixon comes in. And there's the final out. But Benetti hit by a pitch, a comebacker. Exactly what happened to Finley Oldham in game number one. Oh boy. Let's hope that he is okay. 2-1 to Johnston as we go here to the top of the sixth. And that one's off a of blaze. Recovers and there's the first out. That was almost spitting image of what happened to uh, Oldham. In game number one of this very series, so we know Oldham is, his next start is questionable. So we'll see how this impacts Benetti. Popped up here. There's Gertie Booper for out number two. And that brings up Hudson Hopkins. He's one for one. Single on a walk today. Follow. 95 in the gun there from Blaze. Steady arm out of that Olympians bullpen. There's a strike, two and two. And got him. High cheddar to get Hopkins. Liam Bowles and then top of the order, folks, for the Olympians. Let's see if they can do something here. Get something moving. And uh, we're going to have Kurt Johnson pulled from the game. Alfio Miller comes in, and that's a base hit for Bowles. To lead off the bottom of the sixth. Here's Gertie Booper, top of the order, 0 for 2 today. She is due, and that one uh, crosses up Kai Best. So, runner in scoring position now for Booper and for these Olympians. There's a good pitch. Good pitch there from Nixon. And boy, Booper. All out in front of that, I think that actually might have been a mixed signal there between Nixon and Best because that crossed him up real bad behind the plate. Full count. And Booper has walked. So this is interesting. Runners in the corners. Ellie Mullins up. She's hitting quite well so far in these playoffs. No outs here. Oh boy, that just floated up there. Don't do not do that again. Three and one to Mullins. And popped up. Looks like Rockette is going to be there. And there's out number one. If the Rollers get out of this jam, they just might win this game. Here's uh, Bernal. With... Runners in the corners, one out, 2 0 count. And now the 3 0 count. This has to be. There's a strike. 3 and 1. And a base hit into right field for Bernal. And she's thrown out at third. Run scores. A lot, a lot happening there. Base hit, run scores. And thrown out at third base. Best throws out Bernal. Boy, the Olympians are really, really aggressive on the base pass today. I think that's what you have to have to be against these hot steamrollers. So the Olympians score one run. Here in the top of the seventh, we have Xerox Madden leading it off for the steamrollers. Blaze still working away on the mound. He's really shut things down. Well, walks mad in there. And that brings up Best, who's over two. Fouled away. Just making myself a note. 
One and two now on Kai Best. Fouls that one away into the crowd. And the one-two pitch again. We reset. Now two and two. And now the full count. And Best pops that one up. And that one gets off the screen. So we reset here. And he's walked. So runners on first and second. Here is Jericho dozen rolls. And now we're going to have a pitching change. Adam Bugles comes in. The long man for the Olympians. And oh, dozen rolls shows a bunt. Pulls back though. There's a strike. Two and one. And that one is fouled away. Doesn't look like Hull's even going to go after it. <laughs> Just gave up on it. Two and two. Dozen rolls. Hits that one into center field. Shaw is there. Should get that runner over to third. No, they don't test his arm. So runners stay put. And here's Banjo Crane. One for two today. Looking tense though. That one's lined right to right to Bulls. And Annika Proctor steps in with two outs, runners on first and second. That one's lined over the Olympians dugout. And quickly 0-2 on Proctor. And a base no! Booper with the diving stop! Thought that was gonna get just out of her reach. So the steamroller strand a pair of runs. This is the Olympians' last shot now. And let's see. They're sticking with Nixon. I was actually thinking that the roller's manager, that's a base hit up the middle. So that's Marty Hull, base hit. I believe that was Marty Hull. Yes, it was. And that brings up the dangerous Joy Trickster. Hit quite well. It's going to be off the big wall. Crane fires into second, safe. So big, big chance here for the Olympians. And now we're going to have, I was wondering if they were going to pull Nixon earlier. But now Clementine Silva comes in, the closer for the rollers. Two and one on Panada. And now the three one. Proctor takes it herself. Tying run scores. And here's Neil Shaw. Two for two with two singles today. Infield playing in. And that one. Hit right to Crane. The throw home. Safe. And there it is. Olympians win. Wow, that was a dramatic ending. Very dramatic ending. So two games in a row now. Where it was won the very last inning. Last half of the inning. Sorry, I'm just making myself a note here, folks. Holy cow. How about that? Take a look here at the lines. 2, 4, and 1 for the Steamrollers. 3, 7, and 0 oh for the Olympians. Have a look here at the offense. Not a lot of offense for the Rollers. You know, they were really, really hot. Thought things might be picking up for them at, toward the, the end of the last game. But their bat's kind of silent today, with the exception of Chuck Rockett and his two run homer. You know, Crane. Rocket, Hopkins, and Madden did all the hitting. They have five strikeouts and five walks. So on the Olympian side, hitting coming from, well, Neil Shaw had a great game. Let's just say that. Two for two with an RBI. Panada, one for three. Trickster, one for three. Hull, one for three. Bernal, one for two. And then also Bowles, one for two. Three strikeouts and two walks on their side. 
So Bugles gets the win, comes in and pitches like a pitch an inning, and <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and then Nixon will get the loss. Unfortunate for him. Well, Clementine Silva did come in and really couldn't lock things down. Silva, not the most solid closer for the Steamrollers, but uh, but that's how it played out. Let's take a look at our top three players. Chuck Rockett, of course, one for three, Homer. Two RBIs in a run. Bud Benetti, look at this. Bud Benetti, four and two-thirds innings pitch, three hits, one walk, three strikeouts. We'll have to keep an eye on, on that. I'll let you guys know what's going to happen with Benetti. He left the game in extreme pain after that comeback or so. See what's going on with his next start, if it gets to that point. And then Neil Shaw, of course, two for two with the RBI and the game-winning hit. All right, folks, that is how this game ends. So the Olympians now lead the series 2-1. to one. So they just need one more win. Of course, it's a best of five. Uh, one more win, and they could lock this one in and go to play for the Cheese Cup. All right. So that's how that game plays out. Our next game, give you guys a little preview. Of course, we're going to start that game in exactly a half hour. <laughs> It's the Marauders versus the Rampage. We're going to the Bingata Bowl in the Dome on the turf. We're going to have Chip Oliver versus Alonzo Kramer. And, uh, yeah, we'll go through some of the notable players, and I'll give you some other insights. Maybe at that point I'll hear what's going on with Benetti. But uh, keep it tuned here. Um, yeah, join us back here on Geek Cheese in exactly a half hour. For Marauders vs. Rampage, thank you so much for watching, folks. And we'll see you in a little bit. Check you soon. Bye.